Hi friends, welcome to another video from the Indian Influencer YouTube channel. My name is Stan. In this video today, I'm going to talk about online teaching again. And the question that I'm going to take is why should I become an online tutor in 2021? A lot of people on my channel actually come to watch the videos on online teaching. A few days back, I had a poll on my on my channel and I asked you what is, is that one thing that you do to earn money online and 65% of the people who voted on that poll said that they are online teachers. So I understand that most of the people who are coming here to learn something to I mean gather some knowledge are actually online teachers. So in this video today I'm going to talk about online teaching and I'll just tell you specifically why you should teach online in 2021. So keep watching this video till the end and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask them. Let's start the video. Welcome back. You're watching the Indian Philosophy YouTube channel. My name is Stan. So what is online teaching? Online teaching is teaching people the same way that you would otherwise do in your classroom or at your home where you tuition people, you tuition students from different schools and colleges. It's the same thing. Only difference is that you are teaching them via the computer. You are teaching them via the mobile phone. You are using a software, an app to connect with that, with that student and you are delivering your lectures on the computer or on the mobile phone in front of a camera. Right? The students are live. The questions that you get from the students are live. You are answering them live. Everything else is same. Only thing is you are sitting at your home. The students are sitting at their home and you are interacting over the internet. That is called online teaching. Why it is good or why it is necessary in 2021. Now most of you who is watching this video right now would already think that online teaching is required for this this particular time that we are in right now because of the pandemic okay where people are not able to interact with each other they're not able to go to schools not visit tuition centers and they want to have online classes that is absolutely right however that is not the only reason what i mean by that is that uh, this pandemic is obviously one of the biggest reasons that this this industry of online teaching has shot up, has gone up. But then, even without the pandemic, there's a lot of, there, there are a lot of advantages with online teaching. What are they? First, like I said, you as a teacher are sitting at your home, the students are sitting at their home, and still the classes are happening, which means there is no time loss in transport. There is no time loss in commuting from their, their home to your classroom or your school or college, wherever. Okay, That time is very precious. It's, it's precious to you, it's precious to the students as well. So both of you are saving a lot of time by not having to travel to have your lessons. right? So that is a big advantage of online tutoring or online classes. The second advantage is if you were conducting regular classes, classroom based classes, you would only cater to the students who are nearby your place, who can actually come and visit your place, your classroom and sit there in front of you and spend that time to you, time with you and then go back to their home. However, in online teaching, you are not restricted to your nearby area. You can actually teach people from the entire antipole or, or the other part of the world. You can teach someone in Australia, you can teach someone in Europe, in America, in Brazil, wherever it is, right? Sitting in India. That is the biggest advantage of online teaching. So as a tutor, you increase your range or, or as they uh, say in, in geography, your catchment area, okay, from where you can get your students, okay? All right. So that's, that's again a very big advantage. The third advantage is again for the students also, they have a lot of choices. 
earlier the student had only only uh, options to go to teachers who are staying nearby them but now it's not like that they can choose someone an indian student can choose someone from australia from new zealand from belgium wherever he wants to if he wants to learn something he need not choose someone who's next door to him right he can he can choose anyone from anywhere so that is a big big advantage for the students as well so as you as a uh, as a teacher you are also choosing your students your students are also choosing the teachers so that brings the entire world very close to each other so these are the various advantages of online teaching apart from that uh, some other monetary advantages are also there like for people or tutors in in uh, developing countries like india bangladesh pakistan sri lanka or, or nearby this place, uh, this place they are actually able to charge their students in dollars or in, in pounds or in euros okay which enables them to actually earn much more than than probably while uh, teaching in a classroom classroom scenario right because i'll tell you a direct uh, comparison if you're teaching online if you're teaching mathematics suppose and uh, you are charging 500 rupees per hour which is very less which is like uh, eight dollars an hour okay even lesser than that if you are to were to teach someone in a classroom or, or in a home tuition environment in india or, or the place that i am from you would probably get around how much 20 to 40 dollars in the entire month right but here you are getting 8 dollars if you are taking like five classes you can get the same amount okay in a week you can earn the same amount that's what i mean right so there's a difference this advantage is good only for teachers who are who are like uh, staying in these developing countries but then for, for those teachers who are staying in those uh, developed countries like uh, australia america europe somewhere they don't have this kind of advantage but still they have a, a way to earn more because they are directly charging much more than what we from India are charging because they know that what the rate of the local people are what the rate of local uh, employment is based on that they are setting up their prices so when their student come and they want to hire somebody from Europe they would need to pay that much of an amount okay so that's that's the difference now so these are the things uh, that I, I just discussed which are very important which are uh, something which you need to keep in your mind while you choose while uh, you decide whether you want to teach online or not i hope this this uh, points that i discussed will be helpful to you to decide or take a call if you have any questions regarding this please feel free to ask in the comment section and i'll definitely answer those questions i go through each of your questions and i answer most of it almost 95 percent of it because some of those questions i do not like to answer because they I don't like those questions too much and those are irrelevant sometimes but then for most of the questions I do write I do reply and I'll do the same if you have any questions and you write that in the comment section okay so that's all I have in this video if you like this video please give me a like and don't forget to share this video with everyone who you think may want to get into online tutoring and there are a lot of uh, different videos that I've created on online tutoring please feel free to watch those as well I'll see you in the next video Till then, take care. Please stand. Signing off from the Indian Freelancer YouTube channel. Take care. Bye-bye.